this video is a bit like the benefits of doing spiritual work, cancelling of beliefs and feeling the feelings or the anti-karma prayer over periods of time. You know, when I, you know, and there was someone who shared here earlier and, you know, when I first, before I started spiritual work at the age of 30, I was working in the stock market, multiple addictions, workalism, food addiction, other addictions. And, you know, I was just so feeling contracted in my body and I had so much fear extreme fear and then I had the near-death spiritual experience and then I started the, the spiritual work and I had lots of aches, pains, kidney failures, all kinds of illnesses and uh, when I started giving up my addictions, panic attacks, various things as I started to do the spiritual work and it's like the, you know all of that fear and that body identification and all those ailments and, and those uh, things, I mean, they've all gone. And it's like, as your vibration increases, you know, that stuff, you know, I remember one day, uh, you know, doing the spiritual work, there was like a huge blanket of fear was lifted from me. And I felt this fear my whole life, and it's never come back. Mm -hmm. And as I did this spiritual work, like the Observer, which I learned from Muji, uh, you know, cancelling of beliefs, which I learned from Dr. Hawkins, and feel the feelings, mm -hmm which I learned from Dr. As I let go of those, you know, it's like this feeling of peace that you get, you know, st started to get stronger and stronger in me. And it's like, and you know, the title of my book is not meant to be a plug, but the, uh, well, it is a plug, I guess. So my title of my book is called Bulletproof Peace. And, and there was a reason for that, because before, when things, I'd be full of fear and things would hurt me a lot, you know, and then suddenly I started to feel this sense of peace and presence and stillness, which seemed to be an anchor. It started to slowly develop. And then it was like things from the world hit me less and less, because this overwhelming sense of grace and peace and serenity and stillness became more of who I was, and the world started to hit less and less from things which used to hit me, used to hit me so much. And as you do this, this sense of peace and presence becomes more overridingly what you are and the world has less and less of an impact on you. So doing things like the observer, you know, like if I'd get hooked into things, what's observing that? And then you, these hooks become less and less. Or if someone traumatizes you, just sitting with that feeling and letting go of thoughts and ideas and feeling that energy out, and the next time that would happen, it would hit me less. And this feeling of peace and presence would be here. And it's actually, I mean, it's kind of obvious. And the Course in Miracles, which is, you know, uh, Marianne's written a lovely book, A Return to Love, because the, the ego is not what I am. This feeling, even though there was my whole life, I felt like I was in this body and I was full of fear. And it was a world where I was separate from everything. And it was a dangerous world. You know, actually, that's not me. The Course called, would call that the illusion, living in the illusion. I was living in a world which was not true. I was living in a nightmare, essentially, when you're very in your ego. And as you do the work of letting go, then uh, this overwhelming sense of peace started to become more and more, and the world hits you less and less. And actually, that, that is the return to who I really am. Because when I'm in ego, that's the illusion. I'm in, I'm, I'm th I, I believe, my experience is I'm separate from everyone else. I experience fear. And I project that everybody else must be living in fear and separation because that's where the level of consciousness I live in. So uh, someone shared about that today and that becomes the truth. And is it worth, you know, um, just to end on this, like, is it worth, it's, it's never worth giving up this work on a daily basis for me. You know, it's like, you know, there is like a place of infinite love, infinite power, infinite presence. And if you do the work just for a little bit, you'll get relief. But it's really, really important to uh, do this work. The course really says, like 365 lessons, do a lesson every day. Mm -hmm. And I learned one of the biggest lessons from the Course in Miracles, which is like regular practice. You know, it starts off twice a day, lesson one, twice a day. But then within, a, within I don't know, 100 or 200 days, it's like every 10 minutes. Every set a watch, this is the Course in Miracle. God guided me to get this Cassia watch from Argos. And 
I, I, I have no no affiliation with Cassio. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm, I don't get any commissions or anything uh. for that. But it's like every ten minutes. I could set it every ten <laughs> minutes, every half an hour, every hour. And I learnt the thing of like, if you, the world is like, the collective consciousness, as Carl Jung said, you know, is programming you constantly with negative beliefs, yeah. beliefs of fear and separation, of illness, of limitation and fear, non-stop. Yeah. And the and the course is like what it taught me is like, and it's kind of obvious. If you just go out into the world and you do no spiritual work in the day, you'll go down. Mm -hmm. You know, it will just program you with a lot of, you know, you're not rich enough, you're not thin enough, you're not sexy enough, you're mm -hmm. not, you know, and by the end of the day and you did no spiritual work, you'd have gone down. To do a little bit of spiritual work on a daily basis, you'll stay the same. And really, the course is like, you want to do heavy duty spiritual work and uh, to really release this stuff and go into those states of grace mm -hmm. that are there. So um, I encourage you to do this work and you know the states of grace you know the last thing I'll say is like when you get connected to the levels of grace and um, Dr. Hawkins has written a lovely book Letting Go you know those people are like they actually are lifting the whole world just by because they're connected to those states of presence. It's like there's a lovely thing in one of Hawkins' books, like, you know, if you have an enlightened teacher in a major city, that's probably stopping the city from imploding with crime and, and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is amazing work, uh, and, um, yeah, and I've experienced, you know, three illnesses left me, you know, relationship with my mother, you know, absolute love before she died. You know, the miracles are unending to go into these states and just let go of these illusory ideas. But I just wanted to, to share that uh, on this video. Thank you. Okay.